Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Uh, in my cup, I have really nice, strong coffee. And I'm gonna treat myself with some dark chocolate. It's been a while since I've eaten dark chocolate. So cheers. Mmm. And chew it a little bit. Mmm. And sip coffee. Welcome, uh, welcome uh, to another fly tying tutorial. Um, this is going to be a cool one because um, the fly we're going to tie today is this one. This is the um, RV Juritsen. Uh, uh, we just call it the AJ fly. Um, it's been around for two decades, decades now. Um, and um, Christian Skanke, uh, he's the guy who has uh, come up with this pattern. And um, when I met Christian for I think it's 20 years ago now. Um, um, he had he had a box filled with these flies, and they were like big. This is a really good winter fly. Uh, I remember Christian. He always always fished with his fly uh, uh, in the coldest month of the year, and uh, also he used it if the water was murky. And um, <laughs> I haven't I haven't fished this fly for many many years and uh, it was so cool because I um, uh, okay first skip the intro as you uh, as you know there's a skip the intro link down below you can see it you just press it and you skip the intro and also there are links to my uh, to my social media you know my Instagram page so you can follow my live streams Every Sunday I do live streams on, sun, uh, on my Instagram. Uh, and you find the link to my, um, uh, my webpage, www.fruefiskern.no and also to my sponsor, Nordis Fiskustyr. They provide me with all the materials I need for doing these uh, tutorials. Yes, well, um, uh, on Sunday live streams on, um, uh, on Instagram, uh, I showed you some uh, old flies. I, I can pull up a picture here and you can see I showed you this fly and I got so many messages um, Asking me if I mean can you do a tutorial on tutorial on this fly? It's so cool and I of course Yes, I can <laughs> so here we are we're gonna tie the AJ fly and It's a really simple fly and most likely you have these materials in your kit. So one more cheers. Oh, and I like to preheat my cup. It's I preheat preheat the cup and I preheat the French press, you know, because I like the coffee really, really hot. So let's take a look at the materials. It's simple. It's really simple, you guys. Uh, we tied on the Arix NS. 156 in a size 6. Um, I, I've said this many times. There are uh, a huge difference between the Arix uh, NS 156 size 6 and the Gamagatsu F3, uh, F314 in a size 6. They are, there is a huge difference there. I'm going to show you. So this is actually a quite, uh, quite big flight. So that's the hook we're using. And for Hackle, I'm, we're just going to use... Uh, a Chinese cock hackle. This is an uh, orange one. This is not fluorescent, but it's a really nice color. Uh, you can use a hot orange, just orange, really a nice uh, orange color. We're gonna use the big feathers. And bead chain eyes. These are the from bead chain eyes black in medium from hairline. I like those because they are black. They are not uh, machine metal, you know, that are, uh, yeah, Th these are nice and black. I love these uh, bee chains and we're going to use some dubbing. And as I've shown you, I've got a lot of comments on this box. Uh, Ice dub dispenser. Can you see it? It's the dub 13 box. Yeah, this is uh, a really uh, good buy. And uh, we're going to use Ice dub pearl, not UV pearl. You could use the UV pearl, but the pearl has another color. It's more greenish and bluish in the color. So we're gonna use the pearl and we're gonna mix in some Diamond Bright Fluo Hot Pink. Really, this is, this is the UV part. 
here we got the so 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 the fly as you can see it's a little bit pink you know so if you don't have the fluorescent hot pink in the kit uh, it's uv red you can also use that one and also uh, i found this bait fish supreme fluo pink some th i had just had lying around in my kit so just use whatever um pink dubbing you got yeah um uh, that's it i mean and some uh i'm gonna use some regular uh, 6-0 uh, thread in white some super glue and i like having a mixing container because you could mix synthetic materials in the coffee grinder no problem but uh, uh here i like the fibers to <laughs> the coffee grinder sometimes cuts off the fibers so for this part i like using my fingers and it's uh, uh, a good idea to have a container to mix the dubbing so you don't contaminate it with the, all the stuff you got on your table so we're gonna mix in this one okay uh, that's it one more sip of coffee while it's still nice and hot uh, one more oh mm -hmm 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 -hmm. great stuff you guys let's look at the fly so here we can see the fly. It's it's really it's, it's it's a really simple fly to tie, and and you know it's and it fishes so good. So, so I mean uh, I'm gonna put three of these in my box. Yeah, my box is getting filled up with new flies. So okay, let's start off with a hook. And now I'm gonna show you the difference between Gamagatsu F314 and this one. So here you can see the Arex NS156 in a size 6. I'm going to put this behind. Can you see the difference? But the hook gap is the same. So the size of the hook is always the hook gap. The 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 you know the the width of the hook gap that's the size. So the the, the hook gap is pretty Pretty, pretty correct it's 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 you know yeah but the length of the hook oh my lord so uh i would say this is a uh, 1x or 2x hook for for a size 6 maybe a 1x or 2 2x i would call this a 2x so um when i say uh, size 6 many of you guys are thinking oh that's a small fly i mean not on this hook this is a pretty big fly and if you compare this fly to a uh, Partridge CS54 uh, uh, in a size 2, they are almost identical. So, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna start off with some fly tying thread. In the front. And we're gonna ma uh, make sure to, to put down a nice foundation for this fly because we're gonna have a dubbing body. And it's, 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 it's important to have a, a good... Uh, foundation so so your dubbing won't spin you know yeah so we're gonna start off by tying in the hackle and we're gonna go all the way down so the uh, um, thread is aligned with the barb and we're gonna choose one of the big hackles we want a big hackle in the back this is really big and just make sure it doesn't break on you just go like this and if it breaks go further up there it breaks and here it's okay, so I can tie it in here so it doesn't break, but this fly we're gonna tie it in by the tip. So we're gonna measure about the same length, length as the whole hook and tie it in. That will be a perfect amount of um, fibers for this fly. So tie it in uh, with the shiny part facing up. Like that, go all the way. Snip off the waist <laughs> and uh, set the point there. There we're going to tie it off uh, most likely and I'd like to just take some wide turns in the front to move my thread. So let's tackle it. Pull it up. Use your finger with some, with some uh, water or saliva and just pinch the fibers back. The same as we did on Urban, you know. Just hold it for a few seconds. This will help the fibers go back. And we're gonna hackle our fly. One. 
and pull them back for every turn. Okay, I'm gonna touching turns. And by tying uh, the feather in, uh, you know, with the tip first, the short fibers, I'm gonna show you. Continue. Oh, it's, is it breaking? No, it's okay. Pinch it, go back with your thread. And now you can see it's set, already set uh, at the right point, pick it up and lock it. These are techniques I use when I tie flies for sale, you know, so I can tie them fast. Yeah, and uh, this time I'm not selling flies, so I'm gonna have another sip of coffee. Mmm, nice one. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna, as you can see, when you tie in the hackle with the, I'm gonna show you, um, with the shorter, uh, these these fibers are almost the same, but you you can you can you can imagine that the shorter fibers are down here, and the longer fibers are back here, like that. So the longer fibers are resting on the shorter fibers, and the shorter fibers are you know, stabilizing the longer fibers, so they pulse a lot more, you know? So they stand up, flare out like that. Yeah. Now we're gonna fold the fibers back and we're gonna tie over, making sure we're leaving about two turns of hackle, okay? Hackle stem, because we want the fibers to flare out like that. Perfect. And go back again. And then we're gonna set our point for the B chain eyes. And this is quite important because uh, we really want this fly to sink like this. Not down or this way. It's gonna be when you stop pulling the fly, it's gonna hover like this and sink. Because uh, that's the idea that Christian came up with. He wanted the fly to go like that. So all, you know, all the dubbing goes like this in the water. So we're gonna tie them in, in the center of the hook, okay? Underneath, do our regular cross turns. And I like to go under, 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 pull, under, 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 pull, and tighten up. Make sure your thread is nice and tight while you do this. And we're gonna always, I like to use super glue. The super glue is great. Yeah. I want to use some super. Oh, that was a lot of super glue. And another thing, can you see my bobbin holder is right underneath the beach and ice? Usually I move it over here because if I take out a uh, super glue, you know, and if it comes a drop, it falls down and you can you can be sure that it hits your your thread and it the whole thread is is wasted. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done that a couple of times. Okay, so now we're gonna mix the dubbing. And then we're gonna use the container. I like that. So we're gonna pull out. This is a dubbing eater, this fly. This is gonna, yeah. So you need a lot. And if you're gonna tie a couple of them, I like to pull out quite a lot. And if you look at the uh, ice dub pearl, you can see that it has, has some you know, some green color. It's all also a little bit pink. It doesn't have that UV transparent look. It's it's a really different dubbing. So make sure you have the pearl, okay? And then put in the box. I need some more because I know this is gonna, yeah, eat a lot of dubbing, eat a lot of dubbing. And we're gonna snip, uh, just take out a really, really thin part of the pink one. Don't overdo it. A couple of four, few strands because it's just gonna have a hint of pink and start mixing. So you can see the little I put in now, you can see it's already shining through the, the pink. Oh, uh, this, uh, this fly brings back memory when I met Christian, yeah. So yeah. We fished a lot and we caught a lot of fish on this fly. It's a really cool fly. I'm gonna start fishing it again. Yeah. So there you go. That's the dubbing you need. I put it in the box and I always take a sip of coffee. So we're gonna start off by 
dubbing behind the eyes. And uh, make sure you have a nice thin dubbing noodle because we're going to go back and forwards a couple of times. Making sure, pull the fibers back like that, go forwards again, pull it, twist, pull it, twist, pull it, twist. Can you see? It's almost the same thickness as the bead chain eyes at this point. But we're going to go back again because we really want to make a durable fly. And uh, I'm going to, uh, Christian, I'm going to, uh, he, he, he just put it put on a lot of dubbing and brushed it. I'm going to show you another technique so, so the fly is going to last a whole lot longer, okay? So make a nice, and it's going to be a thick fly. This is a chubby fly. So, but take your time. Don't rush this point because if you do, your, your fly not, is not going to last a lot uh, long, you know, yeah. <laughs> so when you come back behind the BJ eyes like that, we're going to, just spin on some dubbing. P take out some dubbing. I told you this is gonna. This is gonna. This uses a lot of dubbing. And we're gonna uh, align the fibers. This, you've seen me done this many times. And we're gonna find the middle part like that. Put it on top. Spin your bobbin to the right. Do a slack turn. And divide the fibers. So they go around like that, making, you know, oh yes, take another turn. Uh, and I use the three finger grip and I pull some of them up and some of them down, pull the thread down, fold the fibers back and take a couple of turn uh, behind the eyes like that. You can see you have made this nice the cap of uh, dubbing over the body so it's perfect and this will you know when the fly sinks this will go like this yeah so go behind the eyes and we're not going to dub in between the the eyes i'm going to do this one more time pull out some dubbing align the fibers Find the middle part, spin your bobbin to the right, take a slack turn, and fold the fibers around. One more turn, pull it, split the fibers, so some go up and some go down. Three finger grip, pull the thread, take a couple of turns, and there we go. This is a really cool technique. Uh, it's a technique you can use to tie, you know, uh, 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 small uh, bait fish. Yeah. So go forwards. Stop at least two millimeters from the eye because we're going to do the same uh, like we just did. We're going to do in the end. So we're going to dub our body and the fly is soon finished. And also here, start with a little bit. Just a little bit to make it, you know, Set, set, yeah. And dub uh, backwards, stop right in front of the eyes. And go forwards again. And we want to try to taper the fly down, you know, so it, it's a little bit thinner. Where the hook eye is, and a little bit thicker. Where the eyes are, you know, like this. Oh, it's perfect. And this is going to be a bushy fly. This is going to be a fluffy fly, you know? Yeah, fluffy fly. I use my finger to comb the fibers, you know? Stop there. Oh, this is so great. <laughs> cool. If you're watching this, Christian, cheers. I miss you, man. We should go fishing soon. <laughs> Cheers, last drop of coffee. We'll fish soon together. Yeah, I mean, we're gonna fish with Arve. <laughs> so last little bunch of dubbing in the front. Align the fibers as we did previously. Find the middle of the bunch of fibers. 
Put it on, spin your bobbin to the right. Do a, sh a slack turn, make sure you're behind the hook eye. Make sure it's divided and pull it. They go down. Pull the thread and lock it down with a couple of turns. And there you go. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> and we're gonna finish off with a nice knot. Yeah, we finish. Now you can see the fly, it's it's really, really like a bushy fly and it's, it's supposed to be that way, yeah. I remember the flies Christian had, they were like, wow. When I, but when I discovered how many fish he caught on this fly, I was like, yeah, yeah. So brush it a little bit, so you can now you can see how we divided the fibers up and down. And you have this compact body that will last a lot longer. And you have these nice fibers going over like this. Yeah. And the smell of some varnish. It takes me back, you know. Yeah. I, you know, my first fly tying kit, in my, when I was 10 years old, it was this, uh, Vanyard's number one, clear. It had this varnish in it. And I, still I can remember when I smell the varnish of, uh, when I varnish the fly, I, it takes me back to the first day I, I tried to tie some flies with Stefan Lindström. Yeah. That's a great memory for me, man. Yeah. That's it. The AJ fly is done. It's a really cool fly. And you know, I've tied several flies this day. You can see I have several in my hand. And when you see the fly, you know, uh, if you put it up like this, you can see the pink colors. And uh, it really shines up in the water. And you can mess around with, uh, with different colors, you know, you can have uh, you could have some, uh, here I've tried with some flashaboo in the tail. You could do a darker color for the underbody, you know, but this is the uh, color combo that Christian tied with for so many, uh, fish with for so many years. And when, when, the, when the fly is sinking, all of this dubbing goes like this. And it, dung, dung. when you pull it, it collapses. And it, and you stop. And it's like, yeah, you see, <laughs> that's the idea and it works. This fly has been fished for two decades as, a, decades, as I told you, it really works. You should try this one. So thanks a lot. Um, and as usual, you find the full complete material list down below. You can find all the materials I use. I'm going to put up the links to my sponsor, Nordisk Fiskustyr. They provide me with the materials. So I'm gonna put out some links to the materials there and you'll find my Instagram page down below. Links, all the info you need to know about this, you know, is down there. And uh, try to uh, look me up on Instagram. You can find the Sunday live streams I have. Um, uh, this upcoming Sunday, I'm not sure what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna tie something. I'm not sure. <laughs> so, okay. Is there a little, oh, it's a little drop of coffee. Cheers, I'll see you in the next one. Ooh, <laughs> bye.